25 tonight. Former Strictly star Brian Fortuna will be live in the studio to tell us why he wants to help you to learn how to dance. Plus, these boys are here. I'm not sure about Charles dancing though. But now let's meet someone who can really move. We loved him when he was on Strictly and now he wants to get you guys dancing as well. Please welcome to Live from Studio 5, Brian Fortuna, everyone. Hey. Hi, Hi guys, Brian. how are you? Lovely Thank to you. see you, Brian. Good now, to be back. Thank tell you. us about your plan to get everybody dancing. Right, here's the deal. People always come up to me and they say, Brian, we want to learn how to dance. Yeah. And I say, well, why don't you go to a dance class? And they say, well, we're really scared. We're nervous about it. We're worried that we already have to have experience or we're worried that we have to have a partner. So I thought I'd come up with a series of DVDs that can teach people how to dance in the comfort of their own home. Oh. Well, let's have a clip of one of your DVDs now. Here it is. So we're not going to worry about the connection with the partner yet. We're not going to worry about anything but learning the footwork, making it work for us, okay? We're going to pick up from the box. That was at the end of the underarm turn. The ladies are stepping forward with the left foot. The guys are stepping backward with the right foot. Cool? Ready and go. One, two, three, one. Here's the whisks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very good. How easy, Brian, is it to learn from the DVD? It's that easy. Well, what's special about this DVD is you're going to see a group of ten absolute complete beginners learning how to dance and you'll follow their progression from the beginning of the class to the end mm. and you'll see that anybody can do it and you can do it in an hour. Mm. And of course you were one of the professionals on Strictly. Now we see so many celebs going on there losing loads of weight. Can people lose weight if they start doing your DVD at home? My DVD is designed more to teach people the basics of the dance and to make them feel comfortable with it. But of course, anytime you're dancing, your heart rate is up, and so it's going to help you to lose weight. Mm. So it's a plus. Fun way to do it. Absolutely. Now, Brian, as a professional dancer, how much training do you have to do on a daily level to sort of like, you know, learn your new skills and put in the little moves? It's a piece of cake. You just. Is it? Yeah, you show up on the day and. How, no. how often? How long are you in the studio, though, for? If you have to sort of choreograph a routine, say, for, say, one of those dancers we see on Strictly for. Well, when you're doing something like Strictly, I mean, it's completely engulfs your life. You're in there 8 to 12 hours a day. 8 to 12 hours a day? That is exhausting. But with beautiful women, so well, it, it works out. Is that why you decided not to do it this year, though? Because you chose not to take part in Strictly this time around. They made some changes to their format, and mm. um, I didn't feel like I fit into where they wanted me to. And um, I'm making a few different directions in my career right now, so excited where I'm going with it. Do you regret that? Do you miss Strictly at all? I miss it. I really do. Mm. Um, it's been a part of my life for three years now. I'd done Dancing with the Stars in the States yeah. and then came over here, and I miss being a part of the family and getting to dance with the musical acts. But I'm also really excited that I'm embarking on this, this new journey and my mm. new career so yeah we're well, really cool. excited to get the DVDs which are right on Monday now um, back to Strictly did you watch this year have I you did watching what did, have you been making of Anne Widdicombe <laughs> she was my favorite everybody loves Anne Widdicombe no, she was fantastic she provided a tremendous amount of entertainment value to the show and I think people absolutely loved her and I think she stepped out just at the right yes. time but be honest would you like to have been her dance teacher no. would you have partnered Anne Listen, if Anton Dubeck can do it, I could do it. <laughs> Would you have done a better job? No comment. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Mm. Carrot Swinton came out with an amazing tango last week. Mm. Yeah. But I'm going to put my money on Matt Baker. Mm. Really? I think so. You don't think about um, Pamela? Pamela's been great, I and mean, she got four tens for her Viennese waltz. Yeah. But I think Matt Baker's got in the bag. I think he's got something he's going to come out with. Mm. Now, uh, Brian, a lot of the sort of like celebrities and the pro dancers, they end up working really close together and a lot of relationships sort of like blossom from this. Why do you think that is the case? It's like being deserted on a, uh, a desert island mm. when you do Strictly. I mean, you're spending a tremendous amount of time with someone, you're in a room with them, you're in close proximity, sometimes you're doing very sensual dances, and um, romance is blossom. And I think the, um, the public is completely intrigued by that, so it, it helps mm. with the show as well. Do you think mm. it's almost like meeting in an artificial environment? Because, yes. of course, you were with Ali, and very sadly, you're not together mm. anymore. Do you think that the way that you met might have had something to do with yeah. that? Yeah, I, th I think that, w again, when you're in that environment where you're working together every day, and, and not only that, but you're also a part of a team. You mm -hmm. know, you have, a, you have a joint goal. Mm -hmm. And when you do Strictly, there's nothing else going on in your life. You're mm -hmm. not going to the park. You're not going out to the movies. Mm -hmm. You are doing that Strictly. It. That's yeah. it. And um, the romances happen. Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, you have been very busy since Strictly because you've also been on the West End stage. You've yes. now got this DVD out on Monday. What's next for you? Oh, two DVDs, actually, isn't it, Monday? One, one for ballroom, one for Latin. One is cha-cha and swing, oh. and one is waltz and foxtrot. Oh. Fantastic. So what's going to be next for you, Brian? What's next for me? Conquering um, the world. I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have the show Pinky the in the Brain over here? One dance stop and it's a time. No, I don't think I've watched that. It was this little mouse. He used to say, I'm going to take over the world. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, I've been doing um, a lot of stuff really to improve myself. I haven't had any time off in about a year, so I've been doing a lot of vocal lessons, a lot of acting lessons. Oh, you can sing as well. I'm not bad. Mm -hmm. You have to come to my first gig. Mm -hmm. What part would you like on the West End stage? Ideally, Johnny and Dirty Dancing would be great. Oh, oh yeah. That would be brilliant casting. Yeah, you'd be good at that. I'd go and watch you in that. You, mm. Is it a promise? Definitely. Oh. Yes. Someone made that happen. Thank you so much for coming in. Good luck with the DVDs. The lovely Brand Fortuna! Thank you very much. Hey. And we'll be